what makes the reefs look so fantastic is the fact that it's surrounded by all this white sand. It reflects the light, makes it look good. But not a lot of people know that this is actually parrotfish poo. Parrotfish like this get their name from their beak-like mouth. They use this to bite off chunks of the coral reef on which they feed. Eventually, the hard, inedible bits of the coral pass through the fish, helping to create the wonderful white, sandy beaches we all know and love. Sometimes on these sandy flats down here, you can see stingrays. Even the eagle rays, they come in to eat. And then there's all these garden eels which poke up out of the sand. They look like grass. If you actually get close enough, you can see that they're little eels. A little turtle has been munching the edges of this sponge. My limited knowledge of turtles and sponges, but I have actually seen turtles when they eat sponges and they literally just kind of munch down on the edges there. And it looks like they've been munching away. There's another nice big sponge. Let's go see if there's anything inside. I can't help it, it's my curiosity. I always think there's something cool living in there. One. It must be four or five feet deep, but nothing in there. Sponges, despite not being able to move and not having specific body organs, are, like corals, also an animal. Wow, here's a cool looking fella. Moray. On the one hand, he looks kind of soft, and on the other hand, he looks a little vicious. And he definitely thinks that I look a little strange here. He's probably wondering, who's the fish in the box? That would be me. I'll tell you what, if I was a fish, I wouldn't go uh, too near the biting end of that fellow. It looks like he could lay one on you. I guess he doesn't want to swim free. Let's see what else we can find. The reefs are spectacular, full of weird and wonderful life. And the great thing is, you can never be sure of what you'll see on each dive. 